be a torture? Is this right here? Torture. Yeah, well, I just, I'll just, we get back to the house, I'm going to go get her. This torture right here is what you're fixing to get. They're trained well. What can I say? They're going to protect me from the evils. No, they're the evils. I'm not the evil. They're not. No. They're doing what they're supposed to do. Just change it, just change it, say it. Yep. Talking like a Oh my God! Something just bit my ankle. I was. I see mosquitoes flying around. That's what I was reaching up here mm. for the for the what, the bug zappers. I was going to get the bug zappers out. There's one yeah, right above be. your head, above your backpack. Well, this one should be fully charged. We ain't got nobody in chat. No one likes us. Yeah. Peepa. <laughs> Peepa. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a hang around the net. No, go put that back. We don't want to buy us. Put it back there. Oh. Okay. Kumbaya. Over on the other side. Hang on. Try one with the flame. This is mood lighting. No, it's supposed to be bug zapping. So we get weight washed and they roll off the side into the water. Yeah, that's okay. They weren't that expensive. 49 bucks or something. You got to. Hey, 3B Fishing. How you doing? Hey, Northern View Outdoors. Marilla Family Fishing says, catch them all. Ready for my new trick? She <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she just appeared. <laughs> now you see me? No, you don't. <laughs> they still see now you see me? No, you don't. They still see her out. No, they don't. Yeah, you're still in the game. Hmm. Hmm. There's Eddie Gross says, hello, everyone. Three big We moved to a different location. We'll on some, spot. Yeah, on some rocks with some structure in the shallow. Structurally rock shallow. Yeah, but that's the only structure there is. Hey, fishing for winders. Whiskers, Wonders. Wanda. <laughs> hey, fishing Wanda, whiskers, and stuff. <laughs> Just mix them all together. <laughs> Windows. <laughs> it's gonna be one then that's howdy. Hi. I hope everyone had a wonderful Easter. We did. I hope you did too. I had some cheese cake filled pancakes, some cracker barrel. Yeah. Mmm. And two eggs and a biscuit and some bacon. Hey Daniel Berry Sports Highlights, how you doing? One day, hit the 80s, mosquitoes already. Bam, yeah. just like that. I was going to go out, however, the yard needed mold, and there's more rain coming. Oh, no. Um, Jody, did you potty hole in the adult? Uh, did you partake in the adult beverages? <laughs> no, thank goodness. <laughs> no. We made that mistake once. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drink. <laughs> Apparently, I dance. No, you just started cracking. Hey, catfish there. doggy, what are we talking about? Food already? Yeah, I was saying I what I went and ate for my Easter dinner. James bought me. And the mosquitoes are out already. Yeah, they're one, tearing me one, up. One day in the eighties, and they're already here. I gotta put my shoes on. Dang it! I'm gonna have to break out that hat I got with all the hang down. Oh yeah, oh, my I need so, I need my pants like that that hangs down over my feet a little bit to cover yeah, my ankles. Called pants. No, I don't want to wear socks and shoes. Hmm. Hey, Caddy King nine one six. What? what? Oh, great, that's what we're calling gang signs. She's a gangster. I don't let me do the crip walk. What? I learned it from the Snoop Dogg. Daryl teach you that? I learned it from the Snoop Dogg. Hey, broke back Bobzilla. Says, how do you, James and Jody? Hey, where's my zipper lubrication? Right here. That? Nah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the things that Jody makes me buy. I we seen it at the Walmart. Where is it? Brother Puppy. That's it. Devil Hook Angler says, hello, James and Jody. There you Sitting. go. Right there. Sitting Snap and zipper in the lubricant. Back porch enjoying the beautiful evening. Ooh, that's nice. Let me lubricate the zipper to my flap. It just is almost a year old. 
Almost. Yeah, you ain't never done no maintenance like that. Oh my I goodness! See your scooter turning. But they're all over the place. I can see them flying everywhere out there. I hope we catch a fish. I hope they go for those lanterns and leave us alone. I, that's what tracked. You know, I didn't get bitchy, but them lanterns out, did I? Or did I? No, they. You were getting bit before. That's why you said get the lanterns. Okay. Hey, I've two been one, good. One, hey, two one, Wanda Rebel. I've, I've been good all day. Yeah, you have it. And <laughs> I just can't hardly contain myself. Yeah, she threw a temper tantrum earlier. What did I throw a temper tantrum earlier? a box going in the other room. Man, no, you didn't. <laughs> you did, 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 did. You're full of lies. Da yeah. James has got a case of the liabilities. I yeah, that's what I got, the liabilities. Yeah, the liabilities. You got, a, you got a case of the can't handle reality because you're that's the one that lies. That's for a quick expelling of the extra rod. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Hey, Table Rock guy. I think that's what that's Table called. Rock. Guy. Yeah. Hello again from Table Rock Lake, Missouri. Sweet. Missouri. Right hey, on. Bad Joe Maestro. Big Gaps, Ma'am Jody. But thank you for coming in. Appreciate that. I'm crip walking for you, Jody, right now. Thank you, Kelly King. <laughs> Catch them all. We ain't had a bite yet. We'll give it a little while, and if not, then we'll move to the magical buoy. I don't know. Hey, Thumpaholic, how you doing? <laughs> I don't think I missed it. No. Ta da! Or in the shallows. Thought maybe they'd be up here trying to get a baby fish to eat. I got one live bluegill out, and the rest all four or five pieces of cut skipjack body section and two heads. Hey, JG, how you doing? Evening, Jody and Cool Cat. Hey, Vibes Aquatics. What's the cracking? Uh, James is back. <laughs> Hey, there's Raymond with the Brums. Hey, Scott, what how you, you doing? Say? Rambling with the Brums. Yeah, that's not what you said the first time. You said, you're, Rab you're well, here's a Rabbit Rock. No, no, no. Hey, there's Samsy. Samsy? What's a Samsy? <laughs> I don't think she's stroking out again. <laughs> hey, Samsy. Sam Samsy. Samfy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Never never mind, everybody. We're gonna she's gonna have to go. I was actually gonna do a private live. That way it would just record in case I caught a fish. But I'd I was going to rat her out to everybody. <laughs> yeah. And James was like, I'm going to tell everybody. Yeah, you were live and you wouldn't go. You wouldn't go live. <laughs> you even use those thermal portable mosquito repellers. Works pretty good. I don't know. We ain't zapped one yet. Staying three. Man, I want to go fishing. Pick me up at the ramp, Jody. Does Stan still fish? I don't oh, think fish anymore. That gives me, hey, John Boy's catfishing. I have a story to tell. James all the time saying, I ain't got no sense and no memory. <laughs> memory is getting out oh. of the boat. Yeah. I said, everything's done. All you need is the trolling motor remote for some reason you had in the car and the plug. And guess thinks, what? She's, she thinks she's, I'm not strong and She, she said that in. when she was at the back of the boat. I'm at the front no. of the boat and you're facing the other way so you know I can't hear you. No, you was too busy texting somebody. But so I launch them and I go park the um park the truck. The truck and the and trailer. come back and you're like, hey, there's water coming and out I, the side I of the boat. And I see him go out in the middle of the water and I'm like, that's pouring outside his boat out of that spigot thing. And the when he, pump. Yeah. And when he pulls up to the boat ramp, I said, did you put the plug in? Nope, it's in my pocket. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Yeah. So I had to go back and get the boat or the trailer and pull him back out of the water. And then he went back there and put it in. Yep. No big catastrophe, though, though, because I, I took the boat out and I ran down river. And when I'm moving, all the water comes out of the boat. So. And. And what? There was another boat there laughing, all falling out of the boat laughing because I didn't do it. Yeah. What? And what? And. I don't know why he thinks I can't put the plug in. Like, I'm not strong enough to you, twist it. You're not strong enough to twist it. I am. Okay. I take it out. Anyways. But anywho. There's no current. The current just quit. Too. None. No current. We love our Jody. We're the catfish. 
Uh, yeah. I don't know if I get one here. We had some. We're really, trying. We're trying new spots. I, yeah. They could be here. They could be. But so far it's not. Hey, JG. Good. James is feeling better. I see. Getting back to his old self. Uh, about sixty percent, maybe. Yeah. Still not good. He got some biofreeze at the Walmart's. That seemed to help. And I ate a handful of Tylenol. And hey, Cincinnati cat. Cool thumbnail. Thank you. Buck made that. Buck Williams. Hey, Carter's Custom Lures. Carter's Custom Lures. How do you, you say? You, say that. Do you say lures? Do you say how you What's say What's a lure? A lure. Lure? Lure. <laughs> a, a lure. 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 <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I can't say tour either. Tour? That, yeah. That's how you say it. Like, yeah, you tour go, something in half. I want to go. No. Like, I want to go on a boat tour. Oh, a tour. I can't say that word oh, Okay. Either. How silly. I mean. <laughs> Welcome in, Custom Carters. Like three. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's name slain. Slay, slaying name night. Yeah. Just get some pliers, Jody. Yeah. I, I, I just pulled the sleeve over my shirt, and then I can grab it and twist it. My sleeve over my shirt. My sleeve. <laughs> she just pulls her sleeve over her shirt. <laughs> my sleeve over my hand. You never see anybody <laughs> talk with dyslexics? dyslexics? Hey, Uncle Lou, sounds like it won't be long and James will be shaving a baloney sandwich in Jody's pie hole. Oh, oh, jo oh, Jody made me breakfast this morning, and guess what? I've had the runs all day. <laughs> yep, it was that gravy. I'm sure it was. Because she was laughing, too, and I was like, man, I hate being sick and having to eat what she cooks. But we're back on the we're not uh, eating anything she makes again kick. I fried sausage and I made homemade gravy for Excuse the first me, time. Well, in the what are you getting the fish for, James? My fish. Thank you. You can have the first fish. You know why? Because he's out where I said he'd be. Out, ooh, there we go. Out in the deep. It's a fishing show. Not yet. He ain't in yet. Oh, he came off. Thanks. <gasps> Thanks. He is not off. Thank you. I'm glad you got him off the hook for you. Oh, let me cut a light on the blind. Oh, oh, he did come off. Did he? Yep. Oh, no, he's he's swimming in fast. He did? Yeah, I thought for sure he was off that time. Hmm. Uh, don't get the net or anything or get ready. What? I'm too busy watching the live action. We're only, we're only in three foot of water, so you know he's already here. Uh, we're not in three foot. We're in nine. Nine. And where was he coming up? He's coming up from the main channel. Oh. He's right there. Well, I can, uh, that's way up there. I'm way back here. Yeah, he might be a teen or maybe a 10. God, I'm a good look now. And he might be, uh, what, a 10 or 12? Oh. He's a fatty. He might be a fatty 13 or 14. That's a way with the grips fish there. <sighs> And no skunk for you. Shall I? It's not like he had to bubble out <laughs> since there's no uh, depth here. That's well, the fish are in the shallows. The shallows. I'll put that net up. Okay. Oh, see, I still can't bend really. He's still a hurting. And we're going to turn the camera so you can see this wonderful fish. Oh, that roll that beautiful bean footage. You want to hold it since it's yours? Nope. I want to get the camera. Wait. You want to love it and squeeze it? I'm not going to love it, it or call squeeze it. George. It. No, because he's pooping on you right now. Is he? No. But I wanted to see that. There we go. Scales up and zeroed. Okay. Oh, he's a bleeder, too. Bleeding bad. Don't say how big he is. He's a oh, rolling cow. Hang on, hang on. Somebody's upset. Stop. We can't wait if you're doing that. He missed it all. Up. It's a unset. <sighs> oh. It's on. on. There's again. <clears throat> yeah. You know it's on kilogram. <clears throat> Even it. Pound. There we go. He's bigger than I thought he was going to be. What is he? It locked. What was it? <sighs> It is. Wow, 15. He's about 15 even, or actually 15 and a half. 
because it's 0 0.2 for the uh, scale. I don't know if you can see that either way, but there you go. You can let him go, girl. Look how fat he is. He's all bloody, though. Nobody will sell that blood. That'd be a good eating. Yeah. Oh, if I want to keep one, even though it's 15 pounds, I keep him. Just because there's plenty of them. Good, deep, good first fish. Set him have, free. I only had to keep one. Set him free. Mm. You know, his mouth was a little bloody, and Dave Funk said that when their mouth's like that, they're eating muscles. Okay. I didn't know that. Maybe he's a muscle eater. Maybe that's, that's what made him mus muscular. High five. Nah. <laughs> Let me get my camera so I can read chat. Okay. I was trying to clean up this mess you got here. You made that mess. Oh, my gosh. What? A hook? No, look how big that spider is. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Look. That's not. Shut up. I don't like spiders. It looks just like one when I look down, though. Made me scream like a girl. Here, look. My new oh, rod. Look at my new oh, rod holders. I hooked you. Oh, I forgot. Hey. What? Mute this for a second. He probably got it. And that's all I got to say about hey, that. Wax County, boy. My first time catching y'all live. Happy Resurrection Day. Well, thank you. Appreciate you coming in. I'm going to resurrect some fish here. Hey, Stonefly. Hey, fish in the Mid-South. Can I get the rod holders in y'all's divorce? <laughs> you have to be married to get divorced. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I got another. That was probably a body section. That was on the goblin, of course. Yeah. No, it was my goblin. Mm -hmm. Did we put out some baloney? No, we should not put out some baloney. How dare you? What? Not putting out no phony baloney. You're gonna, you're gonna start flavoring it like Josh. I can't eat it. You'll be coming out here with uh, mango scented baloney. What are you looking for? Bait? Get another skipjack out of the ice chest. The old ice chest. These are old skipjack too. Yeah, like it's all right old. though. And I bombed it straight out there. So I bombed it straight out there. Yep. Of course you did. Right out to the right out to the channel almost. Mm -hmm. That was it. I gotta put up those lights, but I don't want them shining in that guy's eyes. What guy? Right there. I'm, I'm not the lights would be pointed right at their house. About half of what I cast, but that's okay. I'm joking. Leave it. Don't do it. You can go cast the bait off. You yes, gotta, sir. We're going to reel in and try to okay, throw sir. it out again. Yes, sir. I saw that angry reel. My angry reel. Yeah. Lee Evans by George. What are you up to? Bob Evans has some good food. I fried. I think it's Wumpler's Farm Sauces brings country home. And I've had the bronze all day. <laughs> I should have known she was laughing when she brought it to me this morning. <laughs> uh, more they stand. What? Can you unsnag that rod or just pull it to where it gets loose? The tight one. The tight one. There you go. Thank you. 
You're welcome. I heard the poochie barking. No, God, I let the dog. Who let the dog? You're out? supposed to read chat. I am. I'm getting my phone right now. That's what I was doing. But you had so much stuff. Stony, they're on fire. You had so much stuff in the way. I How many fish y'all caught in the biggest? That was the first fish we just got. We've only been live 20 minutes. We only had water baits in the water 20 minutes. Not too bad. When, this is a new spot we ain't fished before. I actually went, I was going to do a private live, and James made me feel bad and made me go real live. I said, because all those people are sitting around bored. Yeah, and yeah. going, God, I wish somebody was cool live. Cool idea. I like catch a fire fish or two. <laughs> Let's see. Y'all are on a trip tonight. Going to be a funny show, I can tell. I don't know about that. I'll probably get tired and sleep for she two minutes. She's been too long. Lee, you've been she doing got a curfew this. tonight. Mm -mm. You got to work tomorrow. What's this work stuff? Yeah, okay. Well, I, hey, well, Catfish I Hunters TV. <laughs> ah man. Yep. So I ate Jody's cooking again and I'm paying the penalty. Yep. Uncle Lou, well. She got me again. What you waiting for then, James? Uh, hey Amy Evans. How you doing, sis? I ain't seen you in forever. James is coming, she's wearing you. Oh, I know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm wearing on. Yeah. <laughs> I've been sick. Been pain pills make you do silly stuff. He's slowly giving in. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> I, just, I just keep finding it so hard to believe that you can make me sick with every meal. Can I, get I think there's got to be something she could cook where she's not going to make me sick. Uh, oh. Yeah, I know. Uh uh. Hey, did you eat any of my nanner pudding? No. A little thick. Yeah. Hey, Fish and Sea Fever Austin. How you doing? Hey, Stuart. How you Austin. doing? If y'all don't mind, my eyes are bad. That's why I type in caps. That's fine and dandy because I have trouble reading chat. I can read it better. I'm getting there. I got shot up now. Hey, listen to him. Hey, Zed's place. How you doing? You typically scan an area before you go live. How do you choose to go live? Um. Well, I wanted the video in case I caught a big fish and my phone's out of data or out of memory. So, so I recorded the Streamyard and other. Yeah, I do a private live and Streamyard records it, but no one can see it on YouTube unless you send a link. Hey, there's Stuart. Hi, Jody. Hun. Howdy. Zed's place, Jody girl, love ya, but I have to go cook steak pinwheels. <gasps> Ooh. Lee finally Mr. let you out of the time out. <laughs> Mr. Roy says, Cheers. Evening, Jody, evening, James. Good luck, y'all. Good evening. John Boy's catfish and says, Hey, Stuart, Missy 702, Miss 702. Hey, Miss 702, how you doing, sis? Thanks for coming in. Who's that? She's a lady I met uh, online and other groups, and she, uh, she goes on and she does a little talk show sometimes. Country boy. And we, she shares other people out too. Uh, where are y'all located if you don't mind me, he's asking. Hey, Perry Martin. Where are we located at? Um, we're located Watts Bar Dam in Tennessee, East Tennessee. And I don't know, about a mile below the dam, maybe. Perry, Perry Martin says hello. Stonefly wants to know how... Your hot water is, or does she scorch it? I like to never got that water hot. Yeah, I know, because the, the AC was on. I now. even put a lid on it and everything. Like, I had to try to boil some corn, and it didn't turn out because I couldn't get the water hot enough to boil it. So it got soggy trying to get boiled. It was all soft. <laughs> what? Everything you cook gives me the love. I don't know how you do it. I, she's putting soap in it or something. It was. She was laughing when she brought it in. It took it too long to get a bowl, so the corn got too soft. And it got oh, God, the corn mushy. was awful. It was corn on the cob, and it was like mashed corn on the cob. <laughs> it was because of your stove. It, no, it was disgusting. Yeah. Hey, Fat Boy Eric Adventures. James says Jody's the tops. Yeah, yeah, that's what I Stop I letting that. Jody take your big fish. <laughs> Stand three. Hey, Miss 702 again. Tennessee, that's right. 
Okay. Yeah, my back's I'm from, kind of messed up, so I can't really reel on a real big one. I'm from North Wilkesville for what? <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> I'm about five miles from North Wilkesboro oh, Speedway. Oh my God, Wilkie, Wilkie, good birthday, Jody. I've got my truck finally fixed. I might be able to meet y'all someday. Well, that's that's good, Zed. We go. I probably won't go to Chattanooga next weekend, but we might in another week or two. Hey, Josh Perham, how you doing? Joshua. And Bethany, she's watching. Hello. I guess they don't bail water in Alaska. This is the queen oh, of fishing and cooking. It's Chef Jody, award-winning Chef Jody. That's right. I am the champion yeah. of the world. I thought that one got another bite. Another bite? Have another bite of peanut butter sandwich cookie riddle. Maybe yeah, I need to put the drags on just in case. Or no, the clicker, that's what they're called. Right? Yep, the clicker. The clicker. The clicker. Greg Burgess says hello, Jody and Jane. Hey, Greg. They do boil water in Alaska, but their water is used to being cold. Just put the <laughs> hot water in the pot you will want to boil. It will start boiling a lot sooner. Hey, Gregory Lemon. Yeah, JG. That, I tried that, but I hate yeah. wasting water and making it get hot first. Ask Daryl. Nurse Wilkesboro. Stewart says, what? "I can I ask Daryl to catch a fish yesterday? Wilkesboro. I think he caught one little tiny flathead, Stuart. Wilkesboro. There you go. Wilkesboro. I got it. Y'all never heard of North Wilkesboro Speedway? I have. I you can't read or speech. I don't He's get out speech much. Speech dyslexic. Hey, bruh. Hey, what? <laughs> Y'all, <Y> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's short for Greg Burgess, by the way. No. Who was it? Yeah, I think Stuart was saying hello to Greg. Ashboro, Ashboro. Yep, I got it now. Yeah, oh, she got it now. Yep. I gotta find mm. another charging cord. I think I'm gonna recast this one over to the deeper line because he got one to do. Because all these are casted through the bank. Yep, all those are casted to the bank. That went far. We don't. Maybe this one. Okay. What's that? That's it. All right. I thought you said fish on. No. John Boyce, Mid Tennessee Hog Catchers, thank you for coming in. James, when are you going back to the James River? I'm not sure. Probably more like end of summerish, I think. Dang it, wrong one. Let's see. Hope y'all catch a granddaddy. Um, we got a a fifty Friday night. 
and a 30 and a, a 15 and a five or so 30. Hey, Robert Modlin, get the water out of the toilet and it will heat up quicker. <laughs> no way, Jose. Granddaddy's in a 40 pounder. Yeehaw. Well, that's, that's doable. Where we're at. Raffle off to fish with the one and only Miss Tennessee River Catfish Queen. That would be Paula Smith. That'd be like a booby prize. <laughs> Why? I love catfishing, but haven't been in a long time. Me too. Well, I go every week. Every like, week. Multiple times on the weekend. Yeah. Where you like, fish I at? Have a uh, we're below the dam. Can't wait for James to come here. I was so disappointed I didn't get to hang out with them last time. That's Nick Austin. Great job hosting JG yesterday. It was a fun time. It was. Yeah, Southern Wildfin, how you doing? With me. Southern Wildfin's got a good channel. He catches a lot of flatheads. When he fishes. Hey, Indiana Chris. A 50 pounder, that's what I'm talking about. I got a 63 two weeks ago, and I got third place in the weekly make hits prize. For the second time. Yeah. She's a multiple I entered it. Winner. I entered it this week, too, just in case, but I'm, I'm sure I won't get in it, a 50 pounder. Yeah. Hey, Mississippi Life with Stephen Corlin says, good evening, but everyone. You still got time to get Happy another Easter. one, bigger one. Greg Burgess, you appreciate that. Well, you're welcome. Hey, Miss 702. Jody, how would you get into fishing? Well, I was born poor, and I had a pond and a creek in the woods, and that's all I did was... There was a hole in the creek in the woods. They couldn't keep me out of the water. I used to have a mud hole I played in <laughs> to try to keep me out of the pond, and uh, I just fished as I always have. I mostly fished cane poles and bread balls and water dogs and crawdads. Couldn't keep a worm because we had chickens. They eat them all up. But I've just always done it. People would stop by and give me cane poles, the neighbors. I broke my cane pole one time with my hook or something or other. And this man was driving by on a tractor and he asked me what was wrong. And I said, my cane pole broke. <laughs> he went home and brought me two. He said, here's one for now, one for later. And give me some hooks. <laughs> but that's all I did was fish. And I bass fished and I, I brim. So. Yeah. And I was surprised when I caught a catfish out of the pond because we didn't think there was any in it. It was a shock. I didn't know what it was when I caught it. I just knew it was awesome. Get off, moth. It's a, it's a oh my God, was that a Mayflower or moth? If it's a mayfly, I'm pulling up anchor. We're going. <laughs> he was a moth. Hey, hey, Billy, how you doing? Oh, it's a flying spider. Yeah, so you were destined to be. I just like, yeah, I, it's like a hunting for me, but I just like being out of the water. It's relaxing. It's calm. You forget about all your troubles and your worries, and it's just the best place to be. That's what I do the whole weekend on it if I can. Hey, Backwoods Misfit, how you doing? Oop, that one did get a, a, a canibble. I saw it. Well, it's going to be a fish here in a second. Maybe. I think we need to go to the buoy. Yeah, I think I need to pull the anchor. I can pull the anchor. Pull my anchors, and this is only nine foot deep. What's the water temperature there? The water temperature is 58.2. 58.2, and we reached a high of 80 degrees today. Yep, I even had a t shirt on. Hey, Stuart, okay, I'll look at that later. Johnny Small Pepper says, Happy Easter! Happy Easter to you, too. Hope everybody celebrated it in the way they wanted to. 
Backwoods Misfits. Hello, mm -hmm. Johnny. Mississippi Life with Stephen. Be careful not to hit any bridges. There ain't no, yeah, no doubt, huh? I like fishing bridges, but there ain't none around here. No, well, they, he's talking about yeah, that nobody's they talking about. Out. Yeah. It got up to 60 here today. Wow. I have puppies outside. They weren't in the house now that it got dark. What kind of doggies you got? Hey, Mullet Man, how you doing? It snowed there? Wow. I wonder if there's a dating site for fishers. Fishers Harmony, Fishers Meat, Christian Fishers. Um, there is one. Um, Snuggling Catfish? No, I can't remember what it's called, but I've heard of it before. It's got something to fish in it. Happy Miss Easter. Jack everyone. Russell Terrier. Oh, my God. Oh, like, my God. I used to have those. That's almost like a Tyson. Jack, no, I had Rat Terrier fast. Is that the same thing? I got a tree vice. What a pain in the butt. A Jack Russell Chihuahua. Do they bark a lot? Hey, Catfish and Crappie Mark. How you doing? My dogs are the best in the world, though. Jody tried to attack me, and my dogs are going to rip her apart. Fishing with a squirrel. My dogs were Happy Easter, me. you too. I'm selling them for fifty dollars a piece. Hmm. I want a doggy, but then I don't want to be tied. We don't want to be tied down to a doggy. You seen what my dogs do for me? I've had them little doggies before, so no, I like. I, I, they're not all. They got two big dogs. Um. They were gonna tear you up. How old are they? Are they boys or girls? I may be interested in a puppy because I did have one of them before. Well, I had a rat tearing fast, fast, fast. Fast, goodness. <laughs> I get that way when I'm tired. Today we'll be taking. <laughs> we'll be taking speech for five hundred, please. <laughs> well, when I get tired, I can't talk. <laughs> uh, they're males. Hmm. Even better yet. Yeah. Um, add me on Facebook or put a comment on one of my videos with your email so I can get hold of you later. And I might take a poopy, a pu puppy. Oh my goodness, <laughs> there's no fire in here. <laughs> God, you get them stinky. <laughs> Catfish and crappie. Hey, Mark. <laughs> John Switzer Outdoors. <laughs> Ron Woodley. <laughs> what in the world did I come into? <laughs> Wabash and Nate. Yeah, you caught her just in time. She's trying to learn English tonight. <laughs> Or speak English anyway, and she's slaughtering it. <laughs> you would have been Wabash Nod. <laughs> okay, stop laughing, Jody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> read, read Mississippi's comment. Go ahead. Let's see. One Mississippi. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I hope. A I have a feist. She's a nice, nice squirrel, squirrel hunter. hunter. I have to keep her away from fishing with squirrel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my vice is uh, actually everything hunter, and I got to keep it away from everything. Hey, John Switzer. <laughs> got the giggles. <laughs> A little, hey, look, lady, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, my dog got the Easter bunny today, shredded him. Not kidding. Wow. Hey, Billy. Ad got poopies. What did I say? And get poopies. <laughs> Jody's talking to you, <laughs> Don't poo poo on the boat. <laughs> You're right over the edge and on your thing and do your thing. You don't know me very well. Yeah. <laughs> I did that one time. Went over the side of the boat. <laughs> did I tell you about it, James? No, I don't really want to hear the story myself. It's a bad one. James uses fire pits. <laughs> yeah. Mine will tree a coon and not very often. Yeah. Who wants a five gallon uh, pail with uh, the foam around the top when you could be over a fire pit? 
Uh, Mine will tree a coon, but not very often. Mine, yeah. mine chases every man birds. She needs Oof. a fire wing. Um. Well, I, I should I tell the story? No, no, I better not. Which it, one? The, over the side or the fire ring? Over the side. No, I don't really want to go. Okay. <laughs> it was a dark and storm. Yeah, yeah, it was a hideous, gross event. <laughs> It was a full moon out, more than one. Daddy is a squirrel dog. Oh, sweet. Do they bark a lot? Hey, F-O-A. Hey, 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 James and Jody and Chad. What's up, Freddie? Freddie. Let's see. We've been live Are you 40. Balls? Yeah. Balls. Short. I got the clickers on, too. We've been live 40 minutes. So we had another fish. Been 25 minutes here. We caught one. We caught one, but it's been no 25 minutes since we caught him. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Yeah. <laughs> you better hope it wasn't the one she was at. And it burns, burns, burns. Like a ring of fire. Like a ring of fire. Where are the mo? The mom and daddy only bark when someone's pulling dry away. Okay. I can handle that. I don't like a dog that yips or barks don't stop. So the barking gets on my nerves. I had Shih Tzus before and they don't bark much. They don't do anything much. Mm -hmm. They just flop they're around little, looking all foofy. They're little lap puppies. They just flop around looking fluffy. So, well, that one light went out already. That's the one I had charging on the solar thing all day. Oh, so much for the solar charger on top. He probably zapped the bug and it took all the juice. <clears throat> That's lame. I think hey, Mike Chavez, how you doing? You know how puppies are when they're rehomed, they cry until they get, yeah, they do. You know what's the worst sound? Is well, when don't, 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 don't. a cow gets its calf taken and it goes Meow! all day long for, for two, days. two or three days. Forever. It's so loud. It's so pitiful. Very sad. Very mm -hmm. sad. It is. And it won't stop. Nothing can please it. It just does it because it's missing its calf. Half calf. Mm hmm. Oh my God. Hi, Sherry. B.S. Jody. The worst sound is me losing the flash head. <laughs> I bet you do cry. Yeah. Hey, crappy day fish on. How you doing? Well, how much time are we going to give this spot? Until you reel everything in. Let's give it. Hmm. Two minutes. Oh, that's a big difference. <laughs> it is. That could have a fish in two minutes. Cry like a big baby. I've done that before. Hey, DJ's Adventures and Beyond. Hi, everyone. I'm new here to this chat. How is everyone doing this sweet evening? Happy Easter, everyone. We're doing fantastic. Or the fishing people like to say fantastic. Um, welcome to chat. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you. We're in East Tennessee fishing below Watts Bar Dam for catfish, and we're using skipjack and a live bluegill. What are they snagged? When bait. Hey, 205 Wild Action, how you doing? I just heard something jump on the bank. I didn't have it cast over before. Probably one of people lived there telling you to be quiet. I bet it was a raccoon. Maybe washing its paws and fell in. Probably some guy swimming over I'm, the boat. Chukacabara. Mm. It's a chukacabra coming into the boat. Yeah, them things. That just makes me mad as a net of what? Hornets. <laughs> hey, Rob Fox. Good evening, all you fine folks. Happy Easter to all. Happy Easter to you. Chat. 
Chupacabra. Chupacabra. <laughs> hey, retired Ricky Poo. How you doing tonight? There's Kevin Baker, Nuts and Bolts. Tag, you're it. What is your Facebook so I can message you about the puppy? Um, I have one called Pontoon Jody Catfishing, or I got one called Jody Boxlow. Whichever one's easiest to find. What's Stan 3 giggling about? Did she just say choo 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 choo? Yeah, if you're doing baby talk. Chibi 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 Robbie. Chupa Kababra. Chupa, no. Chupa. He's telling me right there how to say it. Chupa. Chupa. Kababa. Like a kebab. That's easy. Kababa. Chupa Kababa. That's what he said it was. He's probably shaking his head at home. Hey, catfish and moon face. Shush kebab out of that. Could you tap that in like, no. Can't. It's too hard to type in, in chat. <laughs> if you go to my about section, it may have my email though. Yeah, might. <laughs> Is your Facebook in description? No. <laughs> yeah. You can just comment on a video, maybe, and then I can comment you back with my email. There you go. If you got content. Or she could just put that information in. <laughs> is not even close, really? Huh. What, your Kubitrava? Yeah. I know what's close. Because <clears throat> there's no shish in it. But that was Mark setting me up for failure. I should have known better. Yeah, it's Mark's fault. Yeah. That's what I'm sure of it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna reel in some lines. Reeling some lines. James, you gonna read chats? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna read chat. Indiana Chris. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> it says uh. We all can't be on the Mike same Sampsy. Mike Sampsy. Mike <laughs> Sampsy. Since you couldn't say that name earlier. Mm-hmm. Kababa is still making me laugh. <laughs> Chupa Kababa. <laughs> Hello, look, lady. Stewart says, Chewbacca Cabra. Well, that's not ideal. I should have let him in last. Yeah. I'll let him dangle a minute. I'll let him leave him dangling. 205. Uh -oh, no. What? Nothing. Hey. Oh. Is that a fish? Yeah, it's a fish. You baby. got a fish on. He's pulling dry. Oh my. He's a good one. Get out there, Check your drag. Make sure it's not too tight. I guess we got to come back there to net him, huh? He ain't nowhere near coming in. Uh, yeah, I know, but I still going to go back there to net him. Uh, and I got to front the trolling motor. Oh, man. No! Don't get on the trolling motor. Oh, he's going to get the troll mode. You better be reeling fast. He's under the boat right now. Reel, reel, reel. Don't let him get out in the troll mode. He's. Hey, maybe he's in it. I can't pull him. There he goes. I feel something coming. So. Ooh, that's close. I mean, I could turn it off, but then we're going to be pulling all over the place. I, I can't even off. move. But he must be in it. Oh, man. Don't say that. I feel something sliding along it. Hang on. I'm trying to turn the top pulling motor off. Shoot, exit, exit. Uh. God darn it. Uh. Where's the stupid remote? <laughs> oh, here it is. I got it. Sorry. Uh. Huh. Did you did you do something with the remote? Nope, I just I just turned the trolling motor off. Okay. I'm gonna try to pull it up. I'll see if you're tangled in it. Hey. 
Hang on. You are. You're tangled in it. <laughs> I thought. Oh, dang it. I know. I thought he swam into it. Hang on. It's not all tangled up in it. It's wrapped around it. Hang on, boy. Uh, he's swimming hard too. Uh huh. Oh, there he goes. Hang on. Can we get some slack? Not yet. Give it some slack. He's off. He's good. Come on, baby. Get up from the boat. Oh, here he is. Yeah. Oh, my. He may be a 40. I'm coming. He's getting on the anchor rope now. Oh, <laughs> hang on. I can get him. He's pulling drag. Not if he's in the anchor rope, you can't tell. He's also pulling the boat around. Oh, man. He is going to get in the anchor rope. He's way up there. Real, oh, I'm blocking the camera. Sorry. Real, real, real. I'm trying. There's no way you're going to get him from the from the trolling motor into the anchor rope. <laughs> and one, and one out. Here he is. Okay, move. Forward, forward, forward. Wow, there he went down. Okay, hang on. I don't see him. He's under the, oh, he's in the, he's in the anchor rope. <laughs> in that level. Yeah. I don't know. He's not really in the anchor rope yet, but he's trying. Oh, I'm trying to get him up. Trying to get him up. He's pulling. I can't pull against him. Let me make sure he didn't get in the anchor rope. He might be easy in the anchor rope. There Hang is. on. Oh, shoot. Uh, that frog's right over your head. I had him out of the anchor rope. But... You got him? No. Uh. I know we're supposed to get him. Uh. You go for it. Oh! Come on, dude. He's bigger than 40. Woohoo, baby! He's in the net. He's in the net. I'll lift him. Oh, he's not all the way in the net. James, don't get your back to bed. I ain't. I'm just holding him here. Oh, he's 60. Why do you keep catching my big fish? Oh, that little. Oh, my. He is a butterball. Yeah. <laughs> He's a butterball. <laughs> and you said you oh. wanted to move. Oh, going I try to tell you, you didn't need to move. Well, he could move and cast that that way. Hold on, let me get some slack. There's half of them. Come on, dude. Get out of that. Oh. We got a bad cat again, baby. 89, 89. 89, 89. This one goes a little Okay. I can't see. I can't see. This the hook is around the net and everything. They still cut it out. Right bitten. One of them fish. Okay. Come on, come get it. You gotta hurt your back. Let me do it. Oh yeah, oh it's barely hooked. I just got back. Mm -hmm. You're in a bind. Let me do it. Come on, dude. Let go. James. Watch. Quit being stubborn. Okay, get it. Fine. I'm sitting on the bait. <laughs> He's just barely hooked. I know. Well, he's not barely hooked because that barb's in there good. Oh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. All right, get the rod out of there. Yes, sir. Then I'll get the net out of here. He's going to go 50, if not more. I'll get the uh, 
I have to go over somewhere to get up. I'll get the swing here. He, he he's he's fat. He's not super long. I'll get you on him, folks. Hang on. <laughs> I gotta do all my chores. And wow, you're up to a whole thirty-three percent. I'm not keeping that. You want the glove? No. Okay. Oh God, you're yeah. coming. Yeah, you want the glove? No, that's okay. <laughs> Would you like the glove? <laughs> yeah, this should be so messy. Here's one. I don't know if it's the right one. There's two, so hopefully one's the right one. You may be too big for you. I think it's the same one you caught the other night. I don't think he is. Think he's more than 50? We're going to find out. I'd rather have help than... I know. Well, I can't do a whole lot. I'm not that stubborn. Where I have to. I can't ask for help. That one won't go down, is it? He's mean, though. He's full of foxiness. I can't see the picture, but I'm just hoping I'm getting a good one. I think I'm going to this one. And she's got him, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, I think he's too big for me. Liz. All right, hang on. We'll Let me put the phone back up here and I'll help you pick him up. Tear the scale and do all that first. All right, I gotta get my phone. Okay. I'll go ahead and dip the net so we'll be You wet. think we're gonna mad cat him, huh? Yeah, okay. we're gonna mad cat him. Let me get the phone. 89, 89. All right, folks, I'm going to turn off chat for a second here on my end. Yeah, tar the net. I got to film all this first. Let yeah. me get on my camera. Video, and here we go. Let's see, you need a lot. Right and here we go. Oh, there, video. Here you go. Pontoon Jody yip, yip. with a Mad Cat's entry. For week 8989 is our code. With the Mad Cat hat. We're getting ready to tar our scale out. And a Mad Cat rod. Okay, we got a Mad Cat hat, but you can't see because it's in the dark. But she had it on. And we got oh, all, all I have is Wait. Mad Cat rods. So. Yeah, but we caught it on the goblin right there. Caught it on the goblin right there with the Mad Cat reel. The last time the video went good and plain, though. So. Okay, so here we go. We're going to tar the scale. I'm going to turn it on. You're going to hang the thing on it. The Sling now. Put the sling on. The sling is on it. It says two eight four. So we're gonna, it. we're gonna tar it. It is tarred, and right. now she's gonna put the fish in the sling. She's gonna put that little baby in there. Who's the good boy? Who's number eighty nine eighty nine for the Mad Cat's code? That's a pork chop though. He's he's got a good belly on him. And no, I'm not helping that much because my back is blown out and she's like, I can't kill myself. It would kill me to get this fish. That's a good fish right there. He's, he's taking up most of that net. I got to get over here, folks, so I can help her straighten out the hook. And here we go. Up, up, and away. Let me <laughs> One, get two. my squat. One, two, three, go. <clears throat> yeah, I got him. All right. Oh, he's going. He's same fish. No, no he's not. I know. We'll let him oh, keep him from swinging here so we can zip, hold out I get my on our mad tax or mad cat scale, by the way. Quit swinging, boat. Jody, quit swinging. Come on. Almost there. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh don't start that, dude. Let me touch him and slow him down. I'm trying to stop him. All right, I'm let go. Okay, let go. All right, there we go. Right, show the net and hold the net. 50, yeah, nothing holding the net. 
All right. Way back here. Hang on. Nothing holding the net. Swinging back and forth. Nothing in the net with them. We're good. So that was tired. That, that amount. Yeah, that's 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 what he weighs. Fifty three sixty eight. Bigger than the last one. Yep. Same fish you just ate some. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take him down now. <laughs> one, two, three, go. Uh, and then we're gonna get the release. I'm gonna pause while she gets them prepared for the release. Move my oh. Oh, did I mention we have the Mad Cat net as well? And the scales. And I just saw the scales. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. And she was trying to make us move. Don't bite. <laughs> All right, you got to hold still so we can get a couple stills here. Smile. I'm going to turn the camera this way a little bit so we can get some. He's going to back. Turn my other camera. I can't even see your head. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> even this other camera stuff. You got too many cameras. There you are. There. Oh, I heard a beep. I don't know what that meant. Oh, that's a good picture there. Yep. Yep. That's good. I'll get a couple there. My always favorite. The I'm going to poo on you. <laughs> that's good. Okay. I got some. And then the release. No, I got They didn't see it good. No. They can see, I think they saw it No, good. they didn't. <laughs> Say Mad Cat's code 8989. Uh -huh. That's a porky one. Yep. All righty. Okay. I'm looking he's at so him. <laughs> yeah, he's so pretty. Yeah, he's so ready to go. I know. Well, let him go. Let him go. <sighs> you got to go this side. Uh, let him go. I yep. can't move it with that. Okay. Move I'll, I'll, I'll move it. Right. Right. It ain't it's moving. That's why. Hang on. Get that headlight right there. What headlight? Right there on the bed. All right. <clears throat> More out. Mm. You ready? Yep. <laughs> I'm letting them go so we can swim away and grow. We can catch them next year. Let them go and grow. You ready, little baby? Oh, oh yeah. Bye bye. And we are out of here. He gone. That's a good swim away, too. Yeah. He's probably there. You go. Away. All right. We got Thanks, it all. Jay. Oh, I wasn't recording. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'll be $49.95. You know what I gotta do? Uh, what? The Rick Flair. Woo! <laughs> Good fish, Jody. Yeah. Thanks. All right, I'm back in chat. Nope. Okay. I'm back in chat again. Uh, Turn off our headlamp. Well, you face. just bumped that person that bumped you. Who bumped me? You said so. Oh, yeah, someone did bump me. Somebody had a 52 pound or something. No, they had 50 point I had 50 point Yep. So there we go. I can't do that. I have no chat. We're going to have chat. Let's see. All chat messages. There we go. There we go. Great job, guys. Right on. Sweet. Thanks. Hell yeah. Let's go. I'm moving back up. Need a hoist. I know I do need a hoist if I'm going to be out here by myself. If they're not in a pair, I can lift them. But from the, I couldn't lift that from a dead squat. Not to okay. My one. timing is, oh, Muskrat came in. My timing is awesome. <laughs> Uh, moon over on my hammy said 65 pounds. That's my second 50 this week. Yep. In three days or four days. Mm -hmm. I think we're Friday. Roger and Roger is Jody. Watch your big toe. It might get bit. He's short and stout. Yes, he was. He, he wasn't real, a one real long fish. Solid 42.22 says Wild Outdoors. 50 pounds, 10 ounces says Stewart. 47 said John Swizzler. Rassle him, Jody. Roger. Hey, Muskrat. 205. I wonder what pound test line Jody is using. She is using 40 pound test line. Oh, um, well, on this one is yours. You yeah, it's, it's 40 pounds. On mine, it's 50. Okay. Well, I use 40s and I use 80 pound liter line or 100 pound liter line, depending. And that got tangled up in the trolling motor as well, too. And we I got it out of that because I am awesome. <laughs> Camera is uh oh, how come your picture's not rolling? I don't know. 
It's no, okay, hang on. I'm, I'm way behind now. Let me get back up there. Okay, I'm all caught up now, but let's go. Okay, what else we say? Ron, thank you, Ron Fish and Fever Austin. As soon as the camera cut out, fish on. Yeah, it never fails. We did. They didn't get to say it. No, they did. He was talking. Oh. I think he's talking about that big one he caught. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Wild action says 52.5, and he would be dang close. Yep. Bill Reddick, strong like a bull. Fish and Fever said 49.2. Thanks for sell selling her short, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need a hoist? Wilkes Country Boy says 55.5. Yeah, that's still pretty close. Hey, Stuart, turd or tard? It's terror. Tara? <laughs> I, I don't even know how to say that. When you tar it out, T-A-R, I believe it's T-A-R-E or T-A-R, no, I don't know. Good fish, says Wabak Nate. Torn, torn out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, says Muskrat Adventures. Uh, how much it weigh? Beautiful. Gregory, nice fish. James, she has. James, she's a fastinista. fastinista. Fish and fever. Great fish, y'all, says Wild Action. Eight small peppers. Hee ha, says Muskrat. 205 Wild Action. Okay, good job, Kababa. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it now. Kuba Kababra. <laughs> Kuba Chabra. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sweet fish. Beautiful fish. Great guy. Great release, guys. How much did it weigh? It weighed 53, 53 and some change. 83, 53 and some change. Uh, great yeah. job, guys. Wow. Nice catch. Now go get mama and her dad. Go get the grandpa. Grandpa monster. Good job, Jody. Retired Rick. Jody, Jody, Jody. Creole catfishing. Did I miss a fish? You missed a 50. 3.8 something fish. They're Creo. Yes. Kevin Baker in the house. Nuts and bolts fishing. Retired Rick. Good job. James. Awesome. Jody. To, oh, yo, she bird nested like normal. Nice job. Everybody saying hello. 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 Jody, not skunk. That we had a fish earlier in that too. But he wasn't as big. Yeah, James caught the first one. I caught one. On the same run. The green gobble. Yep. Hey, hey, y'all. Shad Daddy says hi, Jody. Daddy. Fish and Fever, Wild Action. Fish and Fever, Indiana Chris. Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou. Yep. Uncle Lou. Good says good fish, Jody. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was sweet. Not a bad fish at all. And what's Jody doing now? She's uh, <laughs> working out the uh, bird, nest. bird nest like a pro. A pro nest. And she didn't even get her hair caught in and she messed that one up. No, it just barely went off the side of the boat. But Happy Easter, fish. says Muskrat to all. Jody's a fishing machine, says Gregory Limon. I love the fish. And that was caught on a, was it an executioner hook? Nope. No. Does it want my rod? I'm sorry. I don't have them all on. I don't have on every one of my rods. Then that would have been a muscat demon fine wire. It was. I could tell by the way it looked. Yeah. Because it's thin. What else we got? Same to you, Roger. Beast of Jody Fishing Machine. Yep, that's like a that's like a fifty, a what thirty something yesterday, and another fifty. It is 9.15. That one come about an hour after that. Yep. We'll post it. So let's see. We fished Friday, and you got a 50. Yeah. And you fished Saturday. You got a 30-something. Well, you, you rolled in the 30. On Saturday? Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess I did. Yeah. We got a 30 Saturday, and then, and then uh, tonight she got a 53. So that's some pretty good. Get your weight up this week. And she used her slime removing technique of rubbing it all over her whole body. <laughs> I'm trying to get Mad Cat's attention and get sponsored with them, but well, if you keep if you keep placing first, second, or third in their weekly tournament every week, I think that would work. I don't want to do TikTok though. <laughs> Tell you, it's where the money's at. I don't care about. You got to make up I your just... fake TikTok persona. I just don't like TikTok. You could be Tik. 
Pontoon Jody, the catfish slayer. The people ain't the same on TikTok. You know what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking I don't even have the trolling motor in, so who knows where we're at. There we go. Jody. What? We got the anchor back here. I know, but the trolling motor is not even in. I know. I was going to ask you that. So let's uh, spotlight here anyway. Let's see. Bad jacks. Do I need to undo that for you? No. Did you really mess that one up bad? No, sir. That's been a seven minute. Uh, I just sent her an email about the puppies. All right. Country boy said. Rat, you dang naters. Joey doing good. Uncle Lou. Bad storms rolling around, flooding my area this week. Where's where's Muskrat at? Where does he fish at? He's North fish Carolina? No, Ohio. Maybe. Ohio, the Ohio. Yeah. I think we have rain coming in, but not until Tuesday here. I don't think. Crochet needle helps backlash, especially <laughs> for. Oh, if it's braid, forget it. I'm just getting a torch and burning it out. I see it, the loop. I just can't get it out. <laughs> Look at her boy, what a mess. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a that's a classic Jody there. <laughs> well Joe, she can't check her mail right now because she's on live on her phone. Yeah. So when she gets off, she'll check and she'll email you back. But I'm sure she probably got it. Ask Jody to sing Hooked on a Feeling. <laughs> we 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 try not to get her to sing, so. I gave Jody my phone number. She can give me a call when she gets time. Okay, I'm sure she will. Backlash fishermen would be proud of you, Jody. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it, it's up there. What else we got? Motor stowed. Well, I probably ought to deploy the motor before I can spot lock, huh? Mm -hmm. Can't believe I had to pull the trolling motor up. I can't believe you got that in the trolling motor and still got the fish. I was pulling it off of the trolling motor. No, it was it was wrapped around the shaft, not the not the prop. So okay. you got lucky there. Mm. I wonder which way the stupid anchor rope's even going. No, we're still like almost in the same spot. That's crazy. Right. That just just goes to show you how much no no current there is, and the wind died down, so it wasn't blowing us the other way. How long do you all plan on fishing tonight, Jody? I'm not tired. <laughs> yeah, that means it doesn't matter what I think. Yeah, so probably a while yet. Well, you can take it. She could she could get a hold of you tomorrow. I'm sure they're. Uh, go to bed. Country boy, yeah, I know I can. Country boy, shake it for me. And then you'll be singing and not letting me sleep and being obnoxious and poking me with hooks. And Country boy. Shh. Oh, my bad. The only reason why I'm telling her to shh is because there's like, we're right on the bank and there's a house right here on the bank. So I'm trying not to be too loud for him. Okay, that will be fine. I'm not in a big hurry, said uh, Country boy. Probably tomorrow. Buckeye catfishing says Ohio River at Cincinnati up to 46 feet by midweek. 40 feet is action stage. Normal is 25. I think right now they have no current coming out of any of the dams. So I'm thinking they're filling all the lakes back up to summer pool. So they're bringing the lake levels up, I'm hoping. But right now it's down there. Um, Y'all killing it. I need to get out there on the water, says Stan 3. Somehow it doesn't matter. What'd you, what'd you, how'd you get it around that I piece? I don't know. I went that piece comes out, but there's a bar there. Yeah. Oh, did you, yeah, that's. Oh, I looped it. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, I got it by Jax. Yeah, kind of, sort of, almost. I got to put this piece back in, though. You're wrapped around the reel. 
Uh -huh. There you go. You almost got it. Enjoy your fishing vacation tonight. Hee haw. Stand three. You and me both got to get out in the water. Creo, the cool cat slayer. <laughs> That's what I call him. Gun for hire. What do you need me to do? Anything? I got to put this back on here. Okay. Ooh, that sounds like a fish to me. No. You get all excited. You think, oh, fish on. Get me to let go? Yeah, move your thumb for a second. There we go. Thanks. All fixed up. Says, let's see, gonna be rough water this weekend. Selfishly, I hope they postpone the Mid Ohio Tournament Trail. I'm also fishing the Uno Tournament next weekend. Yeah, me too. I think the Tennessee is halfway. Creo, we'll meet you there. There you guys go. Come on down. Take two. Ah, uh, Uno. Buckeye Catfish and says Uno with a question mark. Yeah, it's a messed up Brian B fishing tournament. Yep. To where I could catch a 90 pound fish, he draws a card, and if it's like a reverse or a forward, then my fish counts for somebody else. Why are these rods out there like that? The dumbest thing I've ever heard of. I was running again, we've got to move. That's yeah, that's it. Uncle Lou says, You're all driving me crazy being able to fish. Won't be until mid July for me. Ow, that stinks. Uh, we thought we fish all year round, though. Even before you got this boat, we fished year round. Yeah, the whole team did great. Oh, yeah, they, they just we just destroyed those poor bank guys. The only one, the one who did anything was the captain. Tony dropped the mic. He can't carry everybody himself. Uno online tournament, Brian B channel. Yeah. Another messed up extravaganza. He'll be on Brian B. Fishing's channel on Saturday or Saturday at late afternoon, six o'clock at night till midnight, I believe. Isn't Freddie and Hooks going to Creo's charter services this week? I don't know. Maybe. I think so. Boat team ruled. JG. Jody just caught a 53.86 pound short fat blue cap. Booyah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cookies? Yeah, they're uh oh, you want like them. They're ginger snaps. They don't have the they don't quite have the the sugar Where's content. The Sugar, so the cream fillings. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, it's just, it's all, ginger. Yeah, snack. you gotta get, my god, my god, <laughs> maybe if you dip them in uh, your your uh fruit crack stuff. Oh, <gasps> we need to make them. We made our first trip, alligator gar garden trip Friday, and we caught catfish right on. Fish and fever. Tony looked like Jack Sparrow with too much rum on the sand, tipped over that tree a couple times. Palmetto just posted a upcoming show with the Uno tournament, maybe maybe on two channels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be on two channels. I'm, I'm sure there's enough people for that. Uh, Jody had me. On the edge of my armchair, catching the 53. <laughs> yeah, you and me both is all tangled in the trolling motor, and then she's going, Oh, it's in the anchor now, too. It was. Yep. Sweet things. Sweet Everybody, give Jody a thumbs up, says Country Boy. But well, thank you. I appreciate Small it. Small water charters in the house. Palmetto <laughs> just posted an upcoming show with the Uno tournament. Maybe on two channels. Did he post that on Facebook or is that on YouTube? Was it a video? What was that, JG? It was actually a fun tourney to watch, other than the bouncing back and forth on the channel. Stan three and Team Amish killed it. Yeah, Austin had a killer day. Him and Dustin, they just slaying them. I'm glad. There's nothing like hoarding all the 
one eight hundred dial a fish fish. Thanks, Uncle Lou says fish and fever. John, thanks. John, the great Burgess. Jody's on a roll. Good job, says Captain Morgan. I thank you. Don Johnson in the house. 67 watching, 65 thumbs up. Woohoo! Hello, Captain Morgan. Small water, JG Hill. Sorry, Lou, we are trying to figure this out in the future. I was sharing the other channel the best I could. However, lots of fish being caught, only so many streams. Yep. He posted it on his YouTube channel. Okay, I'll go check it out later. James River. Well, yeah, James River was on for sure. They were tearing him up. Uh -oh, the blue we just hit 71 thumbs up right on. Yeah, Thank you, baby. everybody. We just got home from D land over 30. No giants. Don't get it. Yep. Uncle Lou. Right over. So I'm sure there will be something said to you. JG Hill, hello, 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 hello. Great stream. I thank you, country boy. Appreciate that. This is uh, what we do. We probably do this, I don't know, two, three, four times a week. Do it every Friday for sure from nine to midnight for Jody's uh, Friday night catfish or Friday night flathead challenge, Actually, which will be starting back up this coming Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Starts back. Flathead challenge. Nine to midnight. Want to be outdoors, James, for your back. Try some battle bomb demon strength. It really helps out. I got some uh, biofreeze. It seemed like it helped a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's gotten a little bit better, but I, 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 I'm telling you, it's right down where my three vertebrae that were fused together are. And I'm thinking if something might have kind of come loose or got a pinch nerve or something down in there, it's been rough. It's a little better today. Editing's fun. See, if I could edit, I'd have a great YouTube channel, but because I have plenty of content, I catch plenty of fish. I just can't edit out all the boring stuff. And half the time when I'm filming, it's like the Blair Witch. I don't have time to edit. I don't have the patience to edit. I work 40 hours and all this crap. I sleep like 40 hours. My is moving. Crap. The night sit bouncing around. Yeah, but I cast like it the off too. Moving too a little bit now. Oh, maybe it's fishy blue gill. Let's go, big blue. Looking forward to it, Jeremy. We couldn't have made it where we are without you, Uncle Lou. Says Stan Three. Looking forward to it, Jeremy. Some peppers, small waters. Personally, I don't like editing. Glad my brother is doing it. Yeah, I wish I had some brother to do it. I messaged Jody on Facebook also. Yeah, I'm sure she'll get him. Jody can't stay away. We fish a day and video usually comes out the next day. That's pretty good. That's a good turnaround. Mm -hmm. Heck, I got two GoPros. I probably got 15 SD cards with just hours of footage that could be gone through and fixed, but like I said, nah, too much, too much time for me. I either go live or I, I try to take some clips out of it and do some shorts. That's about all I could do. Editing ain't that bad, says. Yeah, no, you're getting it down. Some of your shorts have been cracking me up, Austin. That one with the girl with the wood wood cutter. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Nice, Korea. I like the style of videos you make. Pretty badass. Thanks, Stan. The quality of these is way better than anything I've ever done before. James, what is your channel? I am Cool Cats Fishing, and that's K O O L K A T S, and then Fishing, F I S H I N G. <laughs> Now, I got a few videos on there, but like I said, my shorts are okay, but my any videos I do, they're usually kind of bouncy and choppy, but I don't know. I'm well, pretty I'm pretty funny most of the time, so well, just just ask me, I'll tell you. Most <laughs> of our videos are screen recordings from lives. Yep. 
Uh huh. Three cameras. Each each GoPro had at least fifty plus clips. That's a lot, man. You're putting in some serious effort there, Small Water. Okay. Oh, thank you, Uncle Lou. Drop my uh, my YouTube channel for you there, uh, Country Boy. Uncle Lou just dropped my channel. I will look you up. Appreciate that. My brother did the River Cat tackle release video for our new hooks that we are debuting recently. Ah, cool. Right on, right on. This thing, Jenny, there's another big one out there lurking. I lost a monster down here one night. Yeah, uh, Friday night she lost a big, big fish. Oh, it, it was pulling about. drag. I mean, that reel was going zzz, But uh, the hook was foul hooked back into the bait, so he didn't get hooked. No, I'm talking about I'd lost it on a live one night. Yeah. And I hid behind a chair and cried. <laughs> <laughs> Fever. Jody has a sleep disorder. She will Z in two minutes trying to. Oh, yeah, there's no way she could at it. <laughs> yeah, it'd take her a month and a half to do a two minute video. But they did Cracker Barrel. <laughs> no, yeah, she fell asleep waiting for the waitress to walk over. To take our order <laughs> and then i was like jody you sleep jody jody and she then she woke up she's all disoriented was scared didn't know where she was i'm like gone <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> it's embarrassing yeah i i was embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> Lou, smoke me on the link uncle lou thanks i just subscribed to you too you too, James Rodder. Well, thank you much. Appreciate it there, country boy. We go live on his channel more through the week. Well, I go live during the week a lot because mm -hmm. it's just it's just you. Just me out fishing. And that's when I catch my big fish. <laughs> and then I go to my holes. I, I can't show Jody any of the places where I fish. So. And then he skunks. <laughs> yeah. Sure. No, I, I do skunk. I, uh, oh, damn. I skunk a few. <laughs> I skunk probably. Mm. I skunk a lot less, but I still there's still some skunks out there. That's why I got a picture of a skunk on the side of my boat because I'm always battling that guy. I'm always fighting the skunk. <sighs> He's always looking for me. He's always walking around. I like a 4K video. Once you get used to it, it's not that bad editing. Like anything else, you learn the little ins and outs. Well, I'm all about the outs because I'm not doing it. Roger, they really impressed me so far. They're talking about uh, his, his river, 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 river. Yeah, his, yeah. Cool deal. <laughs> You're right, Nate. Hi, John. Let's see. James, do you run Clip Spa three blade props on your trolling motor? Uh, I got whatever came with it. It's, uh, I heard a noise. I got the Altera. I heard a little splash over there in the bank. Altera Ultra or whatever. I bet that's a beaver. Kip, Kipawa? I'll, I'll have to look him up. Kabato? No, it's, it's K-I-P-A-W-A. Not, I don't know. You're not even looking at it. You're making up words. Joe, I'm sorry. Move the camera back. Mm -hmm. I can go back to... Well, that one, go ahead again. You want it? Oh. Again, James, you have that one. Here, yeah, if it's, it's big, the same if it's fish. too big, I'm it not going to be able to... It's the same yeah, one. He's getting ready to go. They moved the camera just in time to not see. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, he's, he's on there. Oh, he's going right for the trolling motor. You want to come out? He's oh, oh, he's running. Oh, rolling right for the trolling motor. <laughs> oh, he is running right for the trolling motor. Oh. You want the remote? Nope. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to pull it back up. He's not as big as hers, but he's still pretty big. Oh, I'm pulling the trolling motor up now. There you go. Boy, these guys are swimming like hard downriver. Uh -huh. Apparently, they don't know upriver is this way. Oh, he's nice coming this way. If he's 
when I drag. Oh. They're still coming this way. There's some pretty good fish right here. Uh-huh. Here he is. Oh, I need to get the net. Yep. <laughs> He's right there. I'm bringing him up. Oh, he's big. Oh. He went down. Feisty little guy. He's not that big. Oh, oh he's trying to get out of that net. Yep. I'll put him back there. The other guy went down that net. I got this. Oh. Right. Yeah, he may be a 15. He might be a 15. There you go. Look through the jaw, all the way through the jaw. That same rod, I'm telling you, that the rod goblin. kills him, the goblin. That goblin eats these fish up. How do you have this look through your jaw like that? That's good, though. That's good. Look. Come on. Okay, I almost got it. Going it back around. There we go. Now we go. Your shoes on Cog. I know, I've been tripping over it for the last half hour. Come on, give me the hook. Open your mouth. <laughs> you want the grips? I just wanted to let you know. It's unhooked. He's just biting down. There we go. Take it away, take it away. You just better not bite me. Mm. He's all right. Mm. Oh, oh, he's hitting Jody in the head. Oh, he's got something to say. Was that? What? Oh, oh okay. He said you just hurt his uncle. Mm. Now we let him go early though. So anyway, there's your Tennessee blue cat. You yeah, he's saying hello and say goodbye. I'm gonna let him go. Okay. I'll be able to get a pick off. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, all right. Say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go. Ah, don't bite me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's a thanks I get. A whip of the water to the face. Yep. I don't know if he's even saw it. I couldn't see. But there's water on he it. He whipped me right in the face. He whipped me right in the face. He whipped water he right whipped up me. in my face. I'll take that. Put that back up. And you can cast that line back out. Lift okay. that barge. Tote that bale. All right. Get to work. I gotta tie my shoe. Oh. Tie my shoe. Get any tie your shoes to been over? Uh, I don't know. Okay. okay. Oh, I gotta find my water now. I'm thirsty. There it is. Here's the trolling. Here's my what? Trolling motor remote. Oh yeah, give me that back. Heck, I'm not even gonna put it back down. With the way these guys are going. This was a little piece of skip chip avalanche. I'm gonna throw them chips away if you don't want them. Huh. This was even bad bait, and they're hitting it. They must be written to that. Yep. All right. There we go. <clears throat>
Oh, doubties. And you wanted to move. Yeah. Anyone who catches her own bait, do small suckers or chubs, stay alive in a bait tank. Right. Yes, they are. and make a huge difference. I got it because of your recommendation, Lou. <clears throat> Great product. Keep the whopper props are made for the USA. That's a plus. Yep. Thanks, Lou. I'll go look them up, Lou. What's the discount code, Creo? They got their own site or they got... Oh, listen to this. Yeah, I had a friend that went fishing one time. He threw in a tree on the bank and right in a hornet's nest. True story. <laughs> Don't get me started about hornets because mm -hmm. we're close to the hornet hole here and they run me off. I spent half the night f flopping hornets trying to keep them off of me. Take a light off your head. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're done with it, right? Yeah. Where's my phone? No, you have my phone. That's fine. Nate said another nice fish. Yeah, that one's no slouch. They thought it was 18 pounds. No, I didn't weigh him, but he's probably 15, 15 or maybe 14. Austin said nice fish, James. Yep. The county boy said good job, James. JG Hill said nice fish, James. I went outside. What did he didn't weigh him? Yeah, sure. Is that Sorry. a heater on the back of the boat by the bank? No, that's a big zapper. James got a new heater. He got a diesel heater to put in. We don't use propane no more, unless we have one on the back. Sometimes, if it's cold in winter, we'll have a propane heater out on the back where the rods oh, are. There's a diesel heater in the cab. Yeah. And it will run forever off of James. How much did the fish weigh? I'm gonna say 14, but between third, probably 14 and 16. Yeah, James, yes, they do. Yeah, that diesel heater I can run. I fill up the tank, and I think the tank's like two or three liters or something, and it will run for a good probably 16 hours. Um, what? my scratch said he sent the link for the prop to me oh okay cool i'll go check it out that blue kill line did move <laughs> probably if we had the problem on that the biggest fish jody ever caught was a 63 point jody Huh? Your PB? I did 63 something. I don't remember how much. Yeah, I think it was a 63.45. And then she caught another 63 just not too long ago. 62 point. Oh, yeah, 62 point 80, something. 89 maybe. I have a freezer. I could use a 55 gallon drum of blue, of a gallon blue drum. We will see. <laughs> I lay it on its front, JG, and make a place for the filter and oxygenator. I think I have a video of mine on YouTube. It says, want to be? Wow. My PB is 70. Thank you. My PB flathead is 54. Jody's is 50. 43. 53? No, 43. 43. You know them zappers are no match if you all get into mayflies this year. <laughs> yeah, I'm not planning on getting into no mayflies this year. I still have PTSD over the last mayfly attack. I'm telling you, country boy, you lay into a 50-pound catfish and you ain't going to be fishing for bass anymore. They're definitely a blast, and they got some power to them. Yeah, but we're 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 blessed with it being in a great 
uh, location for fishing for catfish here on the Tennessee River system. There's some big boys in here. I've got friends that have caught fish in the hundreds, 105, 113 pounds. But they're getting fewer and far apart for sure. They're not like they used to be. They've been running gill nets out here. Yeah, they've been running. Somebody's been running gill nets, and you're not even allowed to run gill nets out here. Matt, the only thing I ever added was the yellow bottle chlorine remover from Wally World. Yep, there's some big catfish out here. Johnny Small Pepper. Yeah, there used to be, I mean, a lot of really big fish out here, but this area here, I mean, all the YouTubers and everybody, the people from all over the country see everybody catching these big fish all the time, and this bit, this place gets fished a lot. There's a lot of people out here fishing. Especially when the skipjacks start running good. Yeah, and when the skipjack really start running up here, there'll be a <clears> ton more people come from all over to try to get a, to try to get a couple hundred skipjack. We use skipjack as bait. They call it catfish candy. They just had the king cat down here, but nobody really done good in it. Well, that's because the, nobody did good at all that week. Wasn't the biggest fish 30 pounds? Yeah, I think so. The Donald bag. Long, hello, how are you? I think the biggest bag was 84 pounds. Did you hear that? Yeah. I plugged my phone up. I guess it's like. Oh, it sounded it. like somebody honked. <clears throat> no. Okay. Says uh, someone had a gill net out yesterday where Josh was fishing. I know, not good at all. And they're not, you're not, you can't gill net here. And they're leaving them unattended too. Yep. One on both each side of the river. It was just in the middle to drive through. Yep. So I'm sure that's hurting us. What's the name of the lake again? Well, we're fishing right now. We're right below the Watts Bar Dam. So that would put us in Chickamauga Lake. And then right above the dam would be uh, Watts, Bar Lake. Watts Bar Lake. There's like five or six dams through here. Mm -hmm. You've got Nickajack. You've got Milton Hill. You've got Fort Lousy. Fort, La Fort Loudon. Teleco. Teleco. You've got, what's one downstream? Uh, what's more? No, the, <laughs> the oh, I can't even think of it. I don't know. Wiles, well, just look up the Tennessee River. Yeah, there's a there's a whole bunch, but it's it's some good fishing area. I'd be having a stockpile of gill nets if someone kept leaving them out. I know, I'm telling you, and they, they're not even hired and eyeing them. They have some really big, big buoys on them to hold them, you know, mm -hmm. hold the top up. I'm gonna start driving through them. But heck, you never see a fishing game person up here. Only time you see them is uh, it used to be when the everybody's fishing license expired the same day, uh, the first of March or something, and then they'd be hot and heavy for about the first week of March, writing them two hundred and fifty dollar tickets to everybody who hadn't renewed their licenses. Did they come up here and shock some fish last summer? Yeah, yeah, they, you know, they come up here and kill <laughs> off all the flatheads. It sucks for Josh right now where he's needing to, to need him bait. I know it does suck. He needs a boat. You call, I mean, you can you get down here. There were some guys and they were uh, commercial fishing and you're, not only, you're only allowed to take like one fish bigger than 32 inches a day. It has to be dead. I bet you they had 25 fish that were over 30 pounds or over. 34 inches I called fish and game. Took me a week to get somebody to call me back. I mean, you can't even get them on the phone. And then they were like, well, yeah, you know, it's kind of hard to get those guys. We've got to be there. And we only got one fish and game guy for like 12,000 12, square miles or something. So, yeah, he wasn't interested in coming down. I called them. That was a few years ago. They might have gotten a little better, but I, I really don't. That's like if you ever catch a state record down here, you're just out of luck because you ain't ever going to get anybody down here to verify it. I called and talked to him about a state record, and he told me I'd have to sacrifice the fish probably. Yeah, they say you got to kill the fish, <clears throat> throw it on ice, and when we get down there in a week or two, we'll verify it, and I ain't killing the fish. Right. No, he told me that they wouldn't come out in the middle of the night to weigh it, and then 
I could bring the fish to them if I and might be able to keep them alive. Where was them? A Cookville or Crossville, I don't remember. And I could get it weighed at like a food city or somewhere and get it certified for the weight, but someone still had to check it to make sure it was a catfish. Verified. But yeah, I, could, I haven't had the best of luck with a wannabe. But I could bring the fish to them, but if I could keep it alive and try it. But yeah, they definitely don't make it easy out here. They don't really care to tell you the truth. I got checked by the game warden and didn't even launch my boat yet. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I, I don't know. I haven't had the best of best experiences with them. We're having issues with some of our out of towners snagging hundreds of pounds of fish a day at our dams, all sizes. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, there's all sorts of legal, you know, fuel nets and stuff. I've seen more this year than I've ever seen in the past five years. And Josh was saying they had what four or five set up all all the way around where he was at. We are in Tennessee. We are in uh, eastern Tennessee where I'm at. We can't freeze. <clears throat> we can't freeze state record fish. Well, they don't want them frozen, but yeah, I mean, it better be refrigerated. However, you yeah, got to keep them. But he said more. You have even on the paper to fill out. They've arrested three in the last week. That'd be nice for the state record. It says usually the fish will die. Like I said, you can pretty much do anything you want with a catfish boy, but if you let somebody bring in a bass or kill a bass or do something illegal, they'll be down here in a flash. You're a sturgeon. Do you like NASCAR racing? Ah, I, I followed it a little bit. I'm, my stepdad's big time into it. He travels and goes to a lot of the races and stuff, but I don't know. I'm usually out fishing Sundays. My mom loves it. Oh, that's it. one of the best places <laughs> for cats, ain't it? I'm from Georgia, and we do not have many blues here. Yeah, but we, we got it made up here. There's a lot of nice fish, but I just hate to see people. I, I, and I tell you the truth, I think the gillnetter guys, I saw them. They had two great big huge totes, one in a, the back of a truck and then one in the boat. And I, I saw them. They came down to the boat ramp, and they were changing the water out in it to keep the fish alive. And I think they're taking the big fish up to Kentucky or wherever they got the pay lakes at. So you're not even allowed to take a, any big fish out of here alive. So if they ever did get caught, that, that's big time fines. But I don't know. Like I said, they don't really seem all that concerned. I can get you a free ticket to the all-star race at North. Oh, well, that'd be cool. Never know. Maybe. I'd like to go. I'd like to go to one. I haven't been to one. I mean, there was like 110 plus pounds blue cats of the Chattahoochee in Georgia, but it was way down south, I believe. Yep, it will be in May. All right. Does that solar thing put out a scent or just the light? What? No, it's just the light. I got, I've got the the other kind that burn the little pads. Because I don't want, if it's a scent, I don't need it on my bait. Yeah, no, it's not a scent, it's just the light. Jeremy, they arrested them because they had five big spoonbills and several huge catfish and drum just laying on the bank. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the people up here right now running these gill nets, they know they're not supposed to, so they're pretty sneaky about it. North Wilkesboro Speedway, so it should be a lot better race than last year. Cool. Matt, that's just wasted fish. Yeah, it, it, it kills me. You know, in gill nets, they, they, they take it everything. Native carp species for bow fishing around me. Well, I know that they, they want you to get those Asian carp. <clears throat> they don't care how many you get of that. But that's, like I said, it's just sad. And it seems like any time I see those nets out and stuff, the next two weeks of fishing just suck. So they must be cleaning them out. Yeah, we fished right above one, one of our spots. I don't believe artificial. We didn't even get about that. fishermen would tolerate mm -hmm. uh, these people much longer messing with their livelihoods. Yeah, you think our legitimate ones here, too, would be the mm -hmm. same. But I know the guys that had the, the two great big, like the 500 
gallon totes. I know they were from out of town. I don't know if we're allowed to touch stuff in the water like that, are we? No, I, yeah, I'm sure if I ran over their gill nets, I'd get in trouble. For vandalism or for something. For vandalism or something, but it, even though it's illegal. Who the heck is that idiot, Austin? Oh, it, the worst is when you have a catfish YouTuber promoting commercial fishing and telling everyone we need to keep more fish in Maryland using the headlines to grow his channel. Pathetic. Well, I know in Virginia, they consider the blue cat a invasive species there, uh, Austin. Misplaced country for Creo. I got the combo. Thank you. Yeah, I forget who I I'm mailing my t-shirt and sticker out that the people won from that giveaway tomorrow. I've kind of dropped the ball because I've been laid up with my back, but it's going out tomorrow for sure. Would be considered harassing an outdoorsman in the act of fishing. Yeah, probably. They're not fishing, though. They're laying nets and they're leaving. But I guess that's still fishing. It's not evasive on the James. James, they consider it evasive up in Maryland. Okay, well, I know it was something like that up there, but never heard of it. Never heard of him, Austin. Matt the Fishing Cowboy. Yeah, I never heard of him. What time is it? It's uh, midnight. Is it? You no, promise? it's it's ten o'clock. Okay, because I started to get a little sleepy. Yep, Jody, Jody's going out. She's going to be asleep here in a minute. We could go whenever you want. Let's stay at 10.30, then we'll head we're out. Staying until 10.30, and then we're going to wrap this live up. Because we caught the other fish around. In, about 45 minutes apart. Yeah, and it should be about time. If it's going to be our part for it to hit. Yeah, there you go. Good plan, Joe. Good plan. So if you, you hear snoring here shortly, you'll know <laughs> you'll know what's going on. <laughs> the blue cat was introduced to the James River, but have moved throughout the entire Chesapeake Bay. Yeah, they're worried about them eating the blue crabs, right? That's what I was hearing. You would think I I almost think that the draw for catfish here, at least in this area. Is even bigger than the draw for the bass guys. So I'm almost thinking they need to pay a little more attention to our fishery for this because it's probably making more money. More people are coming in to fish for catfish than uh, bass anymore. And I'm noticing more and more of my type, my style boats around too. Bunch of copycats. <laughs> I see an eye. An eye. That's, on the bank. that's probably somebody with a scope. James. I told you that's a house right there. Probably Mac. All oh, sorts of noise. He's out there with his sniper rifle. It's coming. This is coming down the bank. Where's your spot? Really? Yeah. Right here. Oh, you gotta make an angle. You gotta jump. I don't give a red tail. I want to make right sure nothing's right getting there. Right here. There you go. Here. Thanks. Oh, it's, it's a Cuba Chopper for sure. Oh, you can't even see it. That's spooky. It's a Bigfoot. It's floating eyes. That's crazy. There's no body to it. Huh. It's hiding behind the tree. Huh. You're shining in that guy's yard. Don't be shining at his house. There's no house. If the house is right there, you're shining on it. Right to your right, there's a house. Yeah, okay, I'm not even down okay, that way. It's coming this way. Stoned. That is creepy. Those eyes are floating. This is the second scaredest spot I'm fished at down in this area. How come it doesn't have any? How come it doesn't have a body? Shut up. The first scaredy spot is in Kingston, where the monster flag's at, Whoops. and then this it is the second the scaredy spot Jody down in this area. 
<laughs> All right. Good night, Rick. You have a good night. Night, Ricky Poo. The crab fishermen are crying about the blues. Yeah. Uh, Wilkes laugh out loud. Says Jody Catfish will be laughing if you start. So she snores all. She goes to sleep all the time. I do. I have a condition. She'll wake up and have like two forties on the line. (laughs) She catches most of her big fish when she's asleep. (laughs) I got my first fifty I ever had in my sleep. Yeah, James, the blue crabs, but there are a lot more to do it than just the blue crab population. (sighs) The cow knows, right? Popping again, yeah. And they're adapted more and more to the salt water, right? Yes, they aren't crying about the bass. They do the same thing. Thanks, Rick. You have a good night. Laugh out loud, Nate. Well, there's another gator, Jody. Oh, no. And it's probably Koopa Chopper. Mm. Later, Rick. I hate Koopa Chopper. The real problem is and pollution and overfishing. For the blue crabs, yeah, I bet. But they won't blame themselves. They got to blame the catfish. We got gators in central Arkansas now. See, mm. that, that's terrifying. I've been down in Florida, and I was out in Australia, too. You don't go in any water that you don't know. Because there's a, there's always a crocodile or an uh, alligator in it. They don't have crocs. They have alligators. Yeah. Yeah. Know your animal kingdom. Yeah, yeah, I knew it was one or the <laughs> other. Even I, I know that. I think they have crocs in Australia, though. Yeah, I'm they do. Crikeys. See, There's that's why they big, say that. There's nasty, mean people eating. Crikeys. I'm glad I caught you live. You all are so, so nice, and I'm enjoying this. Well, you're more than welcome, cowboy. Well, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's why we do it. We met a lot of the good people through YouTube and we have our big family reunion every year up in uh, Kentucky. And Chattanooga. Yeah, and, and, and we have one in Chattanooga, or one up in Kentucky every year is the uh, Catfish and Corrupi Conference. And uh, just a ton of us YouTubers go up there, and it's like a big party for two or three days. Well, they and sell they everything, sell everything, everything catfish that you ever thought you needed and didn't need, and then some. And didn't know about. And Yeah, stuff you didn't even know about. All the latest gear and mm-hmm. boats and it's a good, it's a good show. And yeah. they already had their tickets out for sale. They got yep. new tickets this year called the VIP the VIP Honor something tickets. You get a call from Steve Douglas or Irvine. You, buy a ticket, you, you get, get a you t-shirt. You get a personal phone call from Steve Douglas or Irvine. A fancy lanyard. A fancy lanyard, lanyard for your lanyard badge. Lanyard. Not hey, a lantern. I didn't say lan. I say lanyard. Lanyard. What's and a lanyard? It's the things that go around your neck. Yeah, those stuff. things that go around. Okay. And I have a good friend that lives. It's where it's at is up in Louisville. The T-shirt. It's at the uh, convention center by the fairgrounds. I tell you, it's a blast. I, I, I love it. It's like I have a great time up there every time I go. And then down here mm. at uh, Chester Frost Chester Campground. Frost Campgrounds, we have a YouTube gathering. Is what they call it, and that's going to be in May. I think it's 16th, 17th, 18th, something like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Mm-hmm. And there'll probably be a couple hundred people down here for that. But the Catfish mm-hmm. Conference gets, I think they got 12,000, 13,000 people this last time. Mm-hmm. I wonder why my phone's beeping. Somebody's texting you, I'm sure. Or oh, it dying. might be. I thought I put Do Not Disturb on it when I started, though. I don't know. Maybe you did. Why don't you pick it up and see? Nah. Okay. Well, it's not a bad group. Just watch them catfishing boat anglers. <laughs> Daryl Waltrip was his name. DW. I will be at the gathering on the 14th. I'll be there too. <laughs> so will Pontoon Joe. What's on the 14th of April, by the way? Not the 14th of April, 14th of May. Yeah, but what's on the 14th of April? Tax day. Tax day. But what's on the 14th? Tax day. We're going to have their taxes in by midnight. That's the 15th. What's on the 14th? I have no idea. Somebody's turning 60. Somebody's Uh turning 60. James's birthday. And he won't let me throw him a party. I'm 60. I don't need parties. I will be at the game. Okay. I I I lived in Owensburg, Kentucky. I bought a wedding dress there. I used to live in Carmel, Indiana. 
And the city's claim to fame now is they have no stoplights in the city of Carmel, Indiana. It's all roundabouts. No stop signs, no uh, stoplights. Throw them a boat party, Jody. Quiet, Nate. Quiet, Nate. I wanted to have a party it's with his the party, friends. and he cries at the oh, and he's asking. They want to come too, but James won't let me throw I'm a party. I'm sure you'll bake him a delicious cake that will give him the run. <laughs> <laughs> you can count on that. <laughs> he wants a Costco cake. I'm sure. Yep. I can't. I, I don't have a Costco card. Costco cakes are awesome. I ain't got a card to go buy one. I'll pick one up for you. Okay. You can buy your own cake, and I'll, I hope, I'll decorate it. I hope you're a lady. If not, I'm sorry. Who a lady? Because she's a lady. Man, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, she's Nate. a lady. Talking, talking, talking. like a nice lady. I don't lady. Think, I, Wabash Nate is not a lady, is it? Wabash Nate is a dude. Yeah, it's a dude. Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jason. The gathering May 17th through 19th in Hickson, Tennessee. <laughs> hey, it's Muddy Rivers Catfishing. What's hey, that? Hey, Chris Flores. How you doing? Hello, everybody. Happy Easter, Jody. Happy Easter to you. I bet. I hope you found the prize egg today. You missed Jody's uh, 53.89 pound catfish tonight. Got another one this week. First one I got Friday was only 50 pounds. But this one eats some. Now he's 53. <laughs> uh, 250s in three days? That's pretty good. Well, that want, want to be outdoors says don't spend it all in one place, Jody. Spend what? $5. I got $5? Yep. Woohoo! Thanks. I appreciate that. Now go to the gas fund. Yep. That's what I do with any money I get. I put it in the tank. I have a two hour drive each way each weekend. And, you know, gas has gone back up by Jax. Yep. It's almost spring. Gas prices are slowly climbing again. I can't believe it was over $3. It was just two something a day. Well, Bash Nate, Jody, get with Daryl. He will help you plan James's party. No, he won't. I don't do birthday parties, especially at 60. No, that's okay. I'll pass. I've always had really bad luck on my birthday, so I kind of lay low. <gasps> Danny jinxed us. That's what I forgot. Would you tell him that you're not putting the plug in the boat? No, I didn't tell everybody. Why am I going to tell everybody I didn't put the plug in the boat again tonight? <laughs> but we caught it quick before I left the dock and just got her back the thing back down and pulled up on the trailer. Yeah, we did tell him at the beginning of the stream. Yeah, we told him at the beginning of the stream. But um, gas here is three twenty nine. Did you say Danny said he had a dream about us? No, oh, yeah, Danny. No, yeah, Danny did say his wife was talking to her. Ah, something. Yep, he can get him an old. Oh, you can get him an old man stripper. Oh yeah, thanks, wannabe. That's what I want is an old man stripper. Yeah. We can hire Daryl. Get, 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 Stan, get Stan too out here in his diaper for the. <laughs> we can hire Daryl and Woody. Oh my goodness. <laughs> too funny. <laughs> Oh my! I'm all about freak shows, but I don't even want to see that. <laughs> Jerry Springer. For them guys have got to jump in. Jerry, Jerry. Yeah. I have friends out in California, and they're still at like five fifty a gallon. Day. I think they said it was four ninety three at Costco out there. No ways. Oh, over yonder in California. Out in San Diego, yeah. Yeah. California's where I want to. I remember be. four years ago, gas prices were like a uh, dollar ninety nine, two dollars, two ten. Yep. I remember them being. I'm. I'm pretty sure that cheap stuff that with that yellow sign was a dollar sixty nine for a time. Yep. Because I wanted to rent my car and it wouldn't take it. But all those mean tweets can't have that. 
Between yeah, in the, in the height of it, when gas was really high, I think they, they were paying over eight for a gallon. All right, wannabe needs booted. Why are we booting now? Because it's 275 a gallon? Yeah, that's good. It was 309 at Walmart. Sure that was back when Trump was president. Oh, that bad word. California is nuts for prices of anything. That is true, JD. My daughter still lives out there. She's in a two bedroom, 70 year old apartment. And it's her and some girl that split the rent, but it, it's $2,800 a month for rent for an old, rundown, horrible, tiny two bedroom apartment. Well, don't look like we're going to get another fish. Yep, doesn't look like it's been a doll of six minutes. She <laughs> <laughs> said that. <laughs> it's uh, 10 12. So. Average here is 320, but diesel is almost four. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, screw guy. Yeah, I agree. I was out in California for too long. I was in the Navy and my. The last ship I was on was based out of San Diego, and it was it, it was horrible. They tax taxes out there. I'm gonna start getting some of it ready. You're jumping the gun. No, you could go ahead. You get stuff ready. I don't care. But none of these on the back of the boat has been big. Yep. So I'd probably bring those in. Yeah, I'll leave the ones that cast off to the front out. Yep. This November is going to be very interesting, to say the least. But they're already starting in with the absentee ballots, so I'm pretty sure that Biden will get 50 million more votes than there is voters, and they'll all come in after the election. Brand name cigarettes here are like nine dollars a pack now. Yep, I'm telling you, glad I don't smoke. Me too. And the bars in California, I think they're like 14, 15 bucks for a pack. Really? Yep. Don't pull the rods too early. You never know what can happen, Jody. I know it. But we haven't had even a bite on the other side of the boat, so. Well, the same rods caught all the fish tonight. Yeah. That one lucky rod of mine that Jody gave me. Yep. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah, if we were in a tournament, I wouldn't let her pull anything, so. Up north, they're like twenty dollars a pack. God, that is crazy. I don't see. I went to. I went grocery shopping today. I could. I was gonna buy like just a small container of pepper, like salt and pepper, the spice, and it was like nine dollars. I was thinking, my God, everything is just. I mean, nine bucks. Everything is nine or ten dollars now in the grocery store. Everything, candy bars. I just, it, it's got, there's got to be a point where it's got to give. I mean, it can't just keep going up, can it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It just, it's pretty worrisome, I must say. Pretty darn scary. Everything just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. Every time I go to the grocery store, it's another $20, $30 more than the last time I went. What was the zipper lubricant? Never heard of it. It's a lubricant that you put on your snaps on the boat or your zipper to keep uh, them lubricated so they don't rust up. That's right. 10 million illegals get the vote. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Don't Ryan worry. B. Catfishing is in the house. Oh, my goodness. It's got a zipper enclosure. I'm home now. What, what I miss other than James crying. Jody got a 53.89 blue These cat. Zippers. And we had a couple other ones that were 17, 15, and that. And since you're here now, we're going to shut it down and go home. <laughs> and they were talking about your lame old uh, Uno tournament this weekend coming up. Yeah. But all in all, pretty good night out here for us. Yeah, we're all packing up now. We're going to shut it down at 1030 and uh, head for the boat ramp. And get back. Jody's got a two-hour drive to go home. 
Yep, they'll be working. She got to work in the morning. So, yeah, people don't realize Jody lives two hours from the water. Yep. Well, actually, an hour and 40 minutes to get to Kingston, huh? Yep. No, it's an hour to Kingston. Hour to Kingston? No, that's not too bad. Minutes. So, she's an hour from any place that she really can fit. So. Well, she's a driving fool. So it's have to drive the speed limit now. It's a little yeah, over Yeah, she, now she's really upset because she's got to drive the speed limit because if she gets another ticket, they're going to pull her license for a lifetime. <laughs> lifetime? I don't think it'd be lifetime. Yeah, it'd be a while. Maybe. And I keep, I'm still hoping. There's still hope. What are you talking about <laughs> hoping? So I can't come down. Oh, you can't come down this weekend, Jody? Oh, you still ain't got your license. Oh, what a shame. Wow, have you got your phone? Yeah. I was going to say, because the picture's moving all over the place. Hmm. How did that move you get hung up? There it comes. And somebody probably was ate, eating them. Uncle Lou, Brian Lee, Mr. B, J, G. So your tournament is from 6 o'clock at night to midnight. Is that correct there, Brian? Yeah, I, I I I got it made. I only live like five minutes from the Watts Bar Dam, and if I put in the lake, I got a boat ramp that's less than a quarter mile from my house. So I kind of live up on a hill above the lake. Can she still drive her boat? Yeah, she can still drive a boat if you lose your license. Yep. That's why she's only got like a 40 horse on her boat, so we don't have to worry about that. She ain't going too fast. Yeah, country boy, I live real close, so it's not, not too much of a drive. 6 p.m. to midnight, that is correct. Next Saturday. Why was I thinking it's this Saturday? I thought it was this Saturday. It is this Saturday, Brian. That's a, what do you mean next Saturday? Brian don't even know when his own tournament is. Figures. This coming Saturday, Brian, April 6th, remember? That's nice. Yeah, it is real nice. That's nice. April 6th is the next Saturday coming up. The next Saturday would be the Saturday after this. One. Tomorrow's the first, ain't it? Yeah, tom yeah tomorrow's Brian's Today's birthday. Today's Easter. He's about a fool. Good night, everybody. Everybody have to go to sleep. God bless. Tight lines. Good night, John Boy. Night, night. I need to go ring the bell. Creole cat fishing. You get spoiled living that close to waters. Makes you not want to travel to fish. Uh, most of the tournaments I head down to Chattanooga. That's about an hour away. I just better chances to get more big fish than uh, up here. I get big fish up here, but not as consistent as like you could get hot down there and get, you know, three nice fish. To where up here, I usually could get one nice one and then two smaller ones. Brian, I saw the upcoming show on Palmetto's for the Uno tournament. You guys are running two channels. Yes, I believe they are. And I am very, very spoiled there, Creo. You cool cats killer, you. <laughs> this Saturday, yesterday's past. Next Saturday would be considered this Saturday. Yeah, I'm all confused, but it's April 6th anyway. JG, as of now, we have to run three channels. Holy wow. Cow. I'm sure a couple people back out, though. I love playing Texas Hold'em poker game. Uh, don't tell Brian anything. That'll be his next tournament. No bait. Matt, you know what I mean. Okay. I leave 15 minutes from, I can't even say that word. Achafalafrica. Achafalafrica. There's no K in the end. <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Jody. And 30 minutes from the Mississippi. There you go. Definitely spoiled. <laughs> I go to Cherokee, North Carolina sometimes. North Cackalack. North there Cackalack. You there you go. Okay. Who is the other channel? Fields to Water? 
So Brian, Stan, and uh, Brian Palmetto and Jersey Cats Fishing. I love that AI thumbnail, Jody. Hey, Jersey Cats. Thank you. Buck Williams made that for Buck me. Williams made that for her. Indian Reservation. I, I go down there, too, to go play. Uh, or we go down. I go down there for River what? River Valley. River Valley, yeah. Hit the casino every now and then. That back didn't even get hit. Once or twice a year, maybe. He blew that. Stan will be the it third channel. Chad like will that. be on the road that evening. So it's Brian, Stan, and Palmetto. Uh, it says a chaffalea. A chaffalea? Eh, close enough. Good night, Captain Morgan. Night, night. Cool. Should be a good one. I, I live like three hours from Cherokee. Oh, that's cool. Hey, do you want me to leave my rods on your boat or take them off? Uh, whatever you want to do. Well, I need them this coming weekend. Then take them. I don't really use them. Okay. I mean, I don't have to use them. I got mine. Matt, you got it. Maggie, um, how many rods will we have to use Saturday? Hey, Brian, how many rods can we use Saturday? I think it's uh, all you can eat. All you can eat. <laughs> Probably six, maybe eight. Maggie Valley, yes, has been there. I've been there also. Close enough. Yeah, did Brian even put the rules out yet? Probably not. He I probably know. doesn't even know them. Probably not. He makes them up as he goes along. Yeah. But we is. Like you do. Six rod limit for all my tournaments. I got six green ones. Thanks, James. See you, Captain Morgans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jody has six green mad cat rods <laughs> and reels yeah. and a net and a scale and anything else they sold in the booth. <laughs> He's like, just give me one of everything. <laughs> You're so kind and generous. I gotta use C6 new rods. Well, you could. Rules been on my community page for a month now. Oh, so Palmetto wrote them up for you? Cool. Brian has a page? Yeah, I didn't even know Brian had a page. Saturday's going to be crazy in some places with the Dooms. Oh, the Doomsday Eclipse. Yeah, that's right. That'll be what, Tuesday? Or no, that'll be Monday. They say there's millions of people that are going to be traveling around and get, get in that line. I love the rods. Nice colors to them. Yeah. I like them. I do too. She likes the heavy version. I like the medium heavy. These are medium heavy. Brian B. Catfishing. He said it's it's on his only fa only fans page. <laughs> I'm his only fans. So that's yeah, convenient. She, she says she's your only fan on the only fans page. Ah, this world's getting crazy. This world is getting crazy. Hmm. Uncle Lou subscribed to him last week, he says, on his OnlyFans page. Okay. <laughs> I think I did. Is that the one where that he was in a diaper? Mm -hmm. He was on the cover? Yep. Yeah. So I thought. Jody and James, I enjoy your all's entertainment. Thanks once again. Anytime, like I said, you uh, subscribe and hit your uh, notifications for all. And anytime we come up, you'll be able to you'll get notified. And don't be taking my good green rod. <laughs> I should, that way you can't leave. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, Jody's got this. What's What's mine is hers, and what hers is hers. <laughs> Thing working. I think that's reversed. Oh, yeah. Country boy says, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. All right, 
right, everybody. Well, I appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with us tonight. I'm glad we could get a couple fish in the boat for y'all. Make it a fishing show. The bite has been getting a little better up here, so that's good. Jim, how many has PJ landed tonight? We uh -huh. got brought three in the boat. She got a 53.89 pound blue cap. And a couple of the others were like seven, between 13, 14 and 17. So not, not a bad night. We ain't been out here too long. Four hours, I guess. Five hours. Efficient. Get it, Jody. She's pulling in the anchor for me. <laughs> We're only in like nine foot of water though, so it shouldn't be too bad. And make sure you drag that chain on the boat so you can scrape off all the paint for me. Okay. <laughs> I'm messing with you. You just I got a long chain on my anchor. Good night, all good night, Wallbash. Oh my god, Teddy. Yep. Mm. But it holds the boat. What brand is it? Does it say? It's just got HD on the side of it. It's on the other side on that sticker. Anchor HD. Anchor HD. All right. Tell Jody I will send her some pictures of the puppies as soon as she gets back in touch with me. All, All right. right. She'll Appreciate probably check it. her phone shortly, so she'll let you know. I think that's everything. Uh, Want to be outdoors says Jody. Pee, pee, pee. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don John says good night all. Later, everybody. Take care until we meet again. That's right. Night night. We will see you all again in no time. And I believe Jody's getting ready to punch out. Yep, she's already doing. Well, my picture's showing you still pulling on the anchor. So. Oh, okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Good night, y'all. Have a good night, and we'll till next time. We're out of here. Oops. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>